What's going on guys, I am with the Moose, and today I'm bringing you my season preview for my uh, new head-to-head -head seasons. Now, uh, I asked you guys to vote on the straw poll last time, and we got a total of 34 votes. I'm pretty happy about that, in, honest, in all honesty. Um, and as you can see here, the Legend team won the GOATS, or the GOAT squad, or whatever you want to call it. They won with 14 votes total. America's team, the uh, all-time Cowboys team, had 9 votes. Uh, the Bundle Bunch had 8 votes, and before they were great, the Rookie Legend team really didn't... <laughs> you know, live up to its uh, name here, three votes for them, so they were last. Now, um, as a consolation for the people that voted for America's team, I got a, f a few Cowboys on my team, so I got Larry Allen here, Emmett Smith, and you're going to see a couple more throughout this uh, little update video now. Um, I basically wanted this video just to be like a little lineup update. Um, I don't have the complete lineup together, but I want you guys to, you know, see what, how the lineup's coming. Uh, obviously, I have 17,000 coins, so I'm getting pretty low there. Um, and as you can see, we have Walter Jones at our left tackle position. I think it's a pretty solid card. Had this Gene Upshaw for a while. Now I left him there. I figured, you know, might as well just keep him there. I don't really want to waste too many coins when I already have a pretty solid card. Uh, Mike Webster is here. I kind of wish I had his ultimate legend, but hey, um, I just, <laughs> like, he's a decent center. So, um, you know, not too bad at all. Now we have Larry Allen. This is a fantastic card. Obviously, I would love his ultimate legend, but that is way too many coins. I think it's like... 700, 600k, something like that. We have Jonathan Ogden at right tackle here. Solid card as well. Now, my fullback position, I want you guys to uh, let me know what you want me to do with this here. Um, obviously, you can see I have uh, legend rookie Franco Harris, but... Um, Obviously, I would like to upgrade, but I don't really want to upgrade to just his legend or Mike Allstott's legend or anything like that. I kind of would want to go all the way to, um, you know, his ultimate legend, but it costs like 65k. And as you're going to see later in the video, I still have more positions that I really need to, you know, fill and that are going to cost me a good bit of uh, coins. So let me know if, you, if it's okay to keep this Franco Harris at 80 overall. Um, I personally think that's what I want to do right now just because it's going to cost so many coins if I don't. Now we have Emmett Smith at uh, running back, ultimate legend, obviously, as you guys can see, he's a beast. Um, then we also do have Thurman Thomas. He's going to be in uh, in the run game still as well, so don't worry about Thurman. He will be there. Now Randy Moss, you guys know him. He's been on my team all three seasons. We got Jerry Rice's regular legend card uh, as our second receiver, and then Mike Irvin as our third receiver. Uh, I think it's pretty solid. And then as our fourth receiver, we have Devin Hester. Now, um, I know Devin Hester isn't technically a legend, but um, he is pretty much one of the best kick returners and punt returners of all time. Uh, he's not going to see the field that much, um, you know, on offense. He'll be the fourth receiver. He'll be in there sometimes. You guys might see him make a catch or two here and there, but overall, he's really not going to play very much. Then we have ultimate legend John Mackey at tight end. Not the best tight end in the world, but he's pretty solid. 96 catching is what I like the most about him, and 90 speed, so he's definitely going to be able to uh, keep up with... Um, you know, other linebackers and, and D-backs and stuff like that. Now we have Ultimate Legend Warren Moon at quarterback. The main reason why I got him is because I've had him before. I know he's solid, so, you know, I, I wasn't worried about him, you know, being bad. He has 82 speed. That's pretty good for me. Um, and he was really cheap. I think I got him for like 25 or 30K. Um, you know, I figured that was a solid pickup, especially since I really need to kind of maximize my coin usage here because I have a lot of people to pick up. Uh, as you guys can see, the, the team is almost completely different. Um, now we have Reggie White regular legend at left end uh, pretty solid card nothing too highly to speak of but pretty solid as well uh, Albert Hainsworth at defensive tackle number one very good card and then we have Warren Sapp at defensive tackle number two number two and if actually if you compare these two cards which I'm not going to completely uh, but you guys can flip back and forth in the video here and just check out their stats Hainsworth is actually a better defensive tackle in my own opinion even though Sapp has a one overall uh, you know advantage on him now we have Deacon Jones at right end um, pretty solid I would have loved his ultimate legend but that cost way too much Jack him at left outside linebacker this really isn't one of my favorite cards but it kind of just needs to be there to fill it left outside linebacker role um, and then right outside linebacker, we have Lawrence Taylor. We've been rocking with him for ages now. Um, now my two questions here, big time questions, is what I, what do I do with my middle linebacker position? Obviously, you guys can see I don't have a legend at either position. I have uh, this Derek Thomas on, you know, rookie legend or whatever uh, that I could throw in there, but he's really bad. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to get two more LTs, but that's going to cost me like 65k a piece, and that's a lot of coins, especially since I only have 17k right now. So let me guys, let me know what you guys think I should do here. Um, obviously, I would love to get Ray Lewis or something, but he costs like 200k. That's way too much for me right now. 
Um, so let me know. Um, then finally, our secondary is coming together pretty well now. We have Deion Sanders, another Cowboys player. Uh, 97 speed is nuts. Very, very good. But his tackling is atrocious at 36. So hopefully he doesn't have to tackle too many guys. He can just swap balls down and stuff. Then we have Rod Woodson, cornerback, as our cornerback number two. His coverage stats are a lot better than our next cornerback, and which is the main reason why he's at number three. We have Night Train Lane's regular card. I would obviously love, and I mean this love, um, his ultimate legend card. It's one of the best cards in the entire game, but that is going for like a mil, so that's not going to happen. And then at free safety, I'd love Sean Taylor as well, even his Madden 25 legend, but that's going for 95k right now. Um, if I can somehow muster out the coins, I will definitely pick him up. But right now, it's just going to be this bonus uh, legend or bonus gift edition or whatever. Um, it's pretty solid. It has like 90 hit power, 89 speed. I mean, it's really not that bad of a card, so I'm going to rock out with him for a little while. And then at strong safety, we're eventually going to get Brian Dawkins, um, his regular legend, uh, Madden 25 legend. So that costs maybe 45k or so. I'll pick that up, and he'll be my strong safety. But basically, the main question I have is, who do I? What do I put at middle linebacker? Um, if you guys are okay with it, maybe I'll just keep these two cards it'll minimize the coins I have to use but uh, let me know I'm, I'm really curious and I honestly don't know what to do there um, then at uh, specialist we uh, there's not any punters I believe that are actually um, you know legendary so I guess you could say Shane Leckler is a legendary punter or something like that, but honestly, I'm just going to keep uh, Thomas Morstead there. And then I got George Blindis Holiday Edition kicker because, you know, he is a legendary card, even though this is a ghost card. I figured it'd be pretty cool, and he's pretty solid as well. 94 kick accuracy and 95 kick power really isn't too bad. And like I said, Devin Hester is going to be my kick returner and punt returner because he is one of the best of all time. Um, so that'll pretty much do it. Uh, I also picked up the uh, pistol uh, playbook, and I'll probably change my uniforms up a little bit. But other than that, um, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below and definitely check out my other Ultimate Team videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.